All right. This clip from Fauci, I saw it earlier today. This is the most, this is the most narcissistic clip I've seen in a long time. He's so arrogant and pompous and the media, corporate media, Disney politicians have pumped his ego up so much so that I, I don't even know if he recognizes how narcissistic this sounds, but I'm sure he doesn't care. I mean, he's always kind of been this way. So let's listen to this clip. It's just insane. People go to medical school now, people are interested in science, not because of me, because people, most people don't know me, who I am. My friends know me, my wife knows me, but people know me. It's what I symbolize. And what I symbolize- <laughs> I, can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> oh, it's what I symbolize. It's it's not who I am, it's my symbol. I'm, I'm a being, I'm, I should have statues resurrected in my name. It's. I'm, I'm above the Fauci. I am a holier than thou. <laughs> Keep listening. It just, it, this guy is so ridiculous. The fact that people don't see this or that people clap this and are like, yeah, Fauci is a symbol of truth. He's basically a Bible hero. My friends know me, my wife knows me, but people know me, it's what I symbolize. And what I symbolize in, a, in an era of the normalization of untruths and lies and and all the things you're seeing going on in society from I'm sorry I just can't stop it these people act like conspiracy theorists or or people that are seeking out truth this is like a new phenomenon it's like people that are questioning authority it's, this is like a new phenomenon of people questioning authority and the people that taught me how to question authority were liberals growing up in the public school se sector. Constantly question authority. Do not trust your uh, elders and stuff like that. That was always instilled in me as a young kid. So the fact that they think that the entire generation of kids in which they encourage that kind of rhetoric, encourage that kind of thought uh, to question the science, question the books, question uh, politicians, teachers, parents especially they always try to push that on me as a kid uh question your parents you know you got to figure out stuff on your own the fact that he is now saying these like untruthers or these weird people like do you not understand the people like i grew up in the generation of the rage against the machine generation of like the machine the the government overstepping its power and maybe we're not as free as we think we are. The fact that we have to vote our way to freedom or the fact that we have to ask the government for permission to have a gun and stuff like that and like have to go through background checks. Like we're not as free as we pretend to be. And so it's just funny that like people his age are are seeing what they, they're reaping what they sowed essentially. And you're, you've created me. And now I'm more libertarian minded because of all the liberals that constantly told me to question my authority. And so I, I got to the point where I question authority so much so that I don't trust the government. I don't think they have our best interests. I think that they're out for themselves. And, and there are a few politicians I trust. Uh, and I think a lot of them lie in order to get power, money, fame, um, to be on the cover of Vogue, like Fauci, to have Disney movies made after them, stuff like that. But let's, let's keep listening to him. And what I symbolize in, a, in an era of the normalization of untruths and lies and and all the things you're seeing going on in society from January 6th to everything else that goes on, people the craving for consistency, for integrity, for truth, and for people caring about people. Amazing. People go to medical school. People are craving truth and consistency. That's why they do not trust corporate media anymore because they have lost uh, touch with seeking truth and punching up. That's why a lot of these figures that are established uh, authoritative sources are no longer seen as that by my generation and younger because of the lies and the twisting of words, uh, fabricating of facts, uh, being lackadaisical with the truth, promoting gray areas as the main narrative and stuff like that. So, and they're mad about that. And they don't know what to do about that. So they constantly, but they're constantly told in their inner circles that like everyone trusts you and it's just these fringe, just a couple fringe people. That's why people like Biden actually thinks he's doing a good job despite his overall ratings because of his inner circle. That's why you gotta have people in your life to tell you when you're doing stupid stuff and hold you accountable or else you turn into Fauci. <laughs>